Welcome back everyone. Um, so this time I figured I would do a little bit of a review of a series that I'm really amazed by. Uh, it's called Mushishi. And if you haven't read it, if you haven't seen the series, I highly recommend it. If you're an anime fan, even if you're not, it's a beautifully put together series of well-written stories. It's just gorgeous. And the artist Yuki Urushibara is actually a female sequential artist, and that is rare. And really, she's my hero because A, she's female. B, she's won so many awards for this series, and it made it into um, a series, an anime series, very quickly after it was released. Um, and thirdly, she works heavily with watercolors and environments, which I am striving to get better at. So right now, she is like my hero, my idol. I want to be her. Um, but yeah, Mushishi, the artwork is gorgeous. Um, just take a look at that cover right there. Isn't that gorgeous? That is absolutely beautiful, all in watercolors. Um, and in the American version, you don't get the full color pages, the watercolor pages, but you can see that she has a great sense of light and dark. Um, she knows how to compose each panel really well and she moves the story along quite nicely. My only critique would be that she, um, she doesn't really know how to place her word balloons in such a manner, um, or the paneling, in such a manner that would move the story in the right direction, that would move the viewer's eye in the right direction. But it's a very small problem with a overall beautifully put together story, a beautifully put together book. Um, right now, I believe there are seven volumes out. I only have up to six. Um, I'm not sure when they're going to release volume seven in America or if they already have or not, but um, volume six actually goes beyond what the anime series goes to. The anime series only has 26 episodes, I believe, and that covers the first five volumes of the manga and a couple stories from volume six. I highly recommend getting each and every one of the manga volumes because they're only $13 and you get so much. I mean, look at that. Look how thick that is. There are what? About 250 pages in each one of these? And that's a great deal. 250 pages for $13. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And the artwork will not let you down. The stories definitely won't. Um, what Mushishi is all about is a traveling Mushishi which um, translates to Mushi Master or Insect Master uh, who hunts down these creatures called Mushi which um, though translated from Japanese into English translates to uh, insects are actually these ethereal beings made of light that normal humans can't see but um, some people actually can. And those stories involve people who are affected by these creatures um, or can see them or come across them. And the, main the only main character in the whole thing uh, is Ginkgo. There is only one other character that shows up a couple of times and you rarely see him. But Ginkgo is the main character and he is definitely one of my favorite characters ever created. He's so complex, yet very simple. You can figure him out easily, but he has a great backstory. And, you know, they only focus on his own story a couple of times, but it gives you enough of his character to know what he's all about, what drives him, um, and why he does what he does. And he's, he's a 
very well made, very well created and designed character. Um, and the time period is very unclear. She purposefully left out what time or era this all takes place in to give it that sort of um, otherworldly feel to it. Uh, the stories are all self-contained and you know you can you can pick it up at any part in the series and you know still enjoy it. You can still know what's going on. Um, in the anime series, I believe they they took a couple episodes on one of the stories, but for the most part, those are all self-contained as well. And the anime series is absolutely gorgeous. They used a Scottish musician, I think he's Scottish, uh, to do the theme song for it, and it's still one of my favorite opening themes for any anime. Series. And so if you haven't checked out Mushishi by Yuki Urushibara, I'll show you that one more time. Yuki Urushibara. Uh, definitely check that out. Check out both the anime series and the manga. Buy every single volume of each one because it's so worth it. The the um, Anime box sets or the anime DVDs are just to die for. It. They're absolutely wonderful. So go out, check it out. You can watch some online if, if you want to try it out, and then you know go and read some scanlations online. But I highly recommend going out and actually getting the book and the, the DVDs because it's so worth it and it's an entirely different experience rather than watching it on the screen. So there you go. Go get Mushishi, enjoy it, and have fun with it. So yeah, that's all I have to say for now. So until next time, bye. And every single step of the way Every single night and day I searched for you Through sand, storms and hazy dawns I reached for you I'm tired and I'm weak but I'm strong for you I want to go home, but my love gets me through. Love.